Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing well today. First things foremost, I wanted to apologize for not getting my Scaring Myself episode 2 out uh, this weekend, and I'm very, very sorry. Um, on Friday, it was my grandma's birthday, and of course, I'm not going to miss that. And on Saturday, well, fr Friday night to be specific, um, and Saturday night, I was going to do it, but I got like a bad headache, and I took some medicine for it, but I decided to go to sleep just so I didn't have to really deal with it because I didn't want it to get like super, super bad and just forcing myself to make a video. Just, I don't know, I don't think it'd be very good because obviously I'd be having to deal with the headache at the same time that I'd have to edit it and get it out. Oh my God, I keep messing up and get it out at that time. Um, so yeah, I'm really sorry about that guys, but I will get it done. I'm telling you guys, I really, really do want to get it done and I could have done it today, but it wouldn't have been at night because, you know, I want to do this when it's dark outside to kind of match the whole vibe. So, because I didn't do it, I'm going to release a video for you guys today because I feel bad, but I will get it done, I promise. So anyway, this video is on something, I think it's called the Toxic Friends Check on TikTok, and as much as I don't like TikTok, I think this is something that we can actually watch and um, have some good conversations about and, you know, just kind of poke at certain things that people say. It's not like a normal TikTok compilation, which it's super cringy. This is just kind of sad to see because you know obviously you shouldn't have friends like this and if you do make sure to get rid of them immediately i've had my fair share of toxic friends so if you do too and you relate to anything in this video i suggest you drop them immediately because they're only holding you back with that being said let's jump into the video Kara, yeah let's play two truths and a lie okay okay um i'm 17 okay um I dye my hair. Okay. And you didn't fuck my dog. What? <laughs> I told you that. Okay, so I'm not really sure why this video is in here. It's obviously staged and it has nothing to do with toxicity. I mean, I'm assuming smashing someone else's dog isn't toxic. It's obviously just something that is illegal. <laughs> But anyway, I don't think this video is real, and not exactly sure why it's in here in the first place, but, uh, we move. Looks well. Why are you trying so hard, dude? Like, why are you trying so hard? Like, this is literally to him. Like, you know I fucking like him. Like, why are you trying so hard? This has got to be one of the dumbest clips I have ever seen. Like, what? You ask this person to smile in the picture with them. They smile nicely, I'm assuming, because she thinks he's trying so hard, and she gets all butthurt. Oh, I'm sending this to the guy. Why are you trying so hard? She's smiling, dude. What are you on about? Like, why? Bro, are you seriously mad at me I just for don't a fucking picture? understand why you try so fucking hard. Like, he doesn't like you. I, di I didn't even try. Okay, you but told like, me you to smile. And I yeah, but you try. Like, you try so hard. Like, why? Like, why? You don't look good. And that right there, you don't look good, is the statement. The second you hear it, drop that person, okay? Because this is ridiculous. She's smiling and she's getting angry. I'm assuming because she's thinking, oh, she's going to outshine her or something. Like, she's trying to get the dude's attention by smiling. Like, if he truly likes this one girl, he's not going to get rid of her just because the other girl is smiling nicely. It's so stupid that it's actually hilarious. You're being fucking ridiculous. I don't care, Grayson. It's just I a don't picture. care. I don't care. You know me and him have been talking for almost two weeks now, and I know you used to like him before that, but I don't care. He likes me now. He likes me. He doesn't fucking like you anymore, <laughs> and you try so fucking hard to steal him away from me like i know you fucking do but you have to get over it like hello reality check he doesn't fucking like you get over your i generally can't believe she's like actually so angry about a smile that this leads me to believe that there's something else something else had to have happened there's no way she's this pissed off about someone smiling in a picture that she told her to smile in i don't understand how you can go from being mad about somebody smiling to being mad about that person trying to take them away from you because of their smile. It literally has nothing to do with one another. I hope the girl getting absolutely grilled in this clip actually found herself a better friend and is not a friend with this person anymore because nobody deserves that amount of toxicity in their life and deserves to have friends that are actually supportive and don't get pissed off at small petty things like this that literally are left better on set. Are you serious? What do you mean am I serious? Of course I'm serious. But, like, I already bought them. What am I supposed to do? Take them back. I don't care. I don't want them in our pictures. But I like them. But they're ugly. They're, <laughs> like, ugly. There's ugly and then there's 
that. What are you talking about? Like, what am I supposed to do? I already bought them. I'm not going to take them back. I like them. Okay, then don't wear them. So, I'm not even sure what this mystery item is. I'm assuming it's something so absolutely terrible. Because this person can't stand to even think about whatever this item is. I'm assuming they're going to some party. Maybe like homecoming, uh, prom, whatever. Because they're talking about taking pictures together. But I just don't understand what this item could be and how so terrible it could be. This other person doesn't even want to be seen with her. Like, if it's an item that she likes and she bought it for that reason, then it's not a big deal. Like I said, I don't even know what the item is, but I don't think there's anything that bad that you can freak out about it for pretty much no reason. If the person liked it and they bought it, then they liked it and they bought it. There's no reason for you to flip out on them like that, telling them to return it or just not to wear them. If it was, if this was me, right, if I bought something that I liked and other people may not like it, I don't care. I bought it. I like it. I'm going to use it. I don't know what you want me to say. I'm, I'm doing it for you because they look so bad. No one, no one will like them. And if you wear them, I will not go with you. And I'm being serious. I'll find someone else. Then I'll find someone else. You cannot find someone else. You, no one will go with you because nobody likes you. And I'm saying this as your friend. Your personality is just... Like, I, I bear with it for the sake of bearing with it because I like hanging out with you, but nobody else will. Drop her. Drop her immediately. She's showing her true colors, and it's despicable. Telling somebody who's apparently your friend that their personality isn't good and nobody's going to want to hang out with them because of the cloth clothing choice that whatever it is that this person wants to wear that they bought and because their personality is so bad and telling them that nobody else is going to be friends with you, nobody else is going to hang out with you, I bear with it, but I don't think anybody else will. Come on, really? Honestly, you don't deserve a, a good friend like this in your life because of the person that you are. I doubt her personality is bad. I'm pretty sure she's just super insecure and she doesn't want to be seen with somebody like this because it's going to make her feel worse about herself. They're just cowboy boots. Like, I can take the spurs off. Are you kidding me, dude? All this over cowboy boots? Really? Is it that big of a deal? No, it's not. They're cowboy boots. Who cares? What the hell? Dude, this makes no sense. She had me thinking that it was something absolutely horrible when they're just cowboy boots, dude. People wear them all the time. It's no big deal. They look good on people. Oh, I I'm so done. I can't believe this. So, today's a vlog. And I'm going to ask all my friends questions. We're going to start with Lila. What were you doing at my boyfriend's house yesterday? I wasn't at your boyfriend's house yesterday. You were at my no, boyfriend's I wasn't. house yesterday. I have your no, location. No. Your snap maps is friend. on. Like, you were not with your friends. Was you were with my friend. boyfriend. Like, I don't understand why you think I wouldn't find out. Well, how, do you, how, how did you find she out? She literally told me. Okay, so honestly, I really don't have much to say about this clip right here. By the way, sorry for the gameplay change. I kind of ran out of uh, footage. But anyway, uh, basically... Yeah, like I said, I don't have much to say about this. It's just completely scummy. Why would you hang out with your best friend's boyfriend and lie about it? Especially if you have your snap maps on. You can see that you're in the same location. And on top of that, the friend told her that she was there. Why would you confide in a friend who is another best friend of the girl that you're seeing her boyfriend? It makes no sense, logically. I, I had to, like, I can't not tell. Like, that's a big thing, like. But, like, I wasn't even at, I was. You literally we were, were, literally, we were right just hanging out. Bro. But, but we, we were just, just hanging, hanging out. out. Oh, and you didn't tell me? You didn't think it was a good idea to be like, oh, I'm going to your boyfriend's okay, but house? Okay, wasn't like that, and why are you filming it? Oh, okay, so first it's, oh, I wasn't even there. I was hanging out with a friend. And then it's, oh, how'd you find out? And then it's like, oh, I wasn't even there. And then she switches up to like, oh, it, it wasn't even like that. Don't worry. Come on. If you're going to lie, at least have a story straight. I mean, I know you're caught. But even if you're caught, don't switch up your story like three or four times. You're not really his type. What do you mean I'm not really his type? I just feel like he like usually goes for skinnier, like less annoying girls. Not that you're not skinny. Just I feel like ever since the season ended, you kind of just like let go. Oh, I thought he went for like skinnier girls. Not that you're not skinny. You're just... Yeah, yeah, you're fat. You're not skinny at all. Like, come on, dude. It's funny how she's, like, trying not to hurt her feelings, but at the same time, she's making it even worse by trying not to do that. Like, saying, oh, not that you're not skinny, but you put on weight. What? Because, does that make sense? I'm, like, annoying. 
No. Oh. Like, I see you guys, like, hanging out, and then, like, he, you're just so, like, I just think you're so loud, and I see his face, and he's just, like, I can just tell he's annoyed. I mean, we're, like, at a party, like, I'm just trying to have fun. And he'll go, like, talk to his guy friend, it's just, and you're just already on his back, like, he just wants to, like... Well, like, we're dating, like, I want to, like, be near him. So, at this point, it's fairly obvious that the other girl in this clip is extremely jealous of this girl, trying to point out all her flaws and saying that she's on the guy's back. It would be different if they weren't dating, but not even that much. If they are dating, then it doesn't matter. If she's on his back trying to talk to him, it's because they're in a relationship. Clearly, they're in a relationship for a reason, so there's really no point of you trash-talking her for things that she was doing, because if they're still together, then it must not have been that big of a deal. Really, there's no point in getting all mad at her, pointing out all her flaws, and just being an overall bitch for pretty much no reason, other than trying to justify things to herself. It's not that you, like, can't get any other guy. Like, you can. It's just maybe not him. But they're dating, though. What do you mean she can't get him? If they're in a relationship, she already got him. It's clear that she's mad jealous, because why would it just be about this one guy and not a whole bunch of other dudes? She's with him already. Get over it and stop being so angry and taking it out on her when she really didn't do anything. What do you mean? Like, that doesn't make sense. You're still pretty. When you try. Uh, anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of a bone because I didn't really get to do the Scaring Myself episode 2. Trust me, it's going to come out. I promise. I'm not exactly sure when. I'm going to try to get it done by this weekend. But I pretty much failed to do it for the last two weekends in a row. So I wouldn't be very surprised if you guys didn't really believe me on it. But it'll definitely get to you guys, okay? Things have come up. Um, you know, I've already explained that to you guys, but anyway, see you in the next one, and I love you guys so much. Mwah.